What is happening people? We're back with another Dean Does It All video. Today, we're putting the radiator in the car. Let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some penetrating fluid. Just gonna use some WD-40 because that's what I've got lying around. See that bit on that joint there? Soak him nice and well. Oh, he should come off a bit better for us. Next step while we're waiting for that to loosen up is we'll take the radiator hose off and drain the fluid out. First thing, take off the radiator cap. Chuck something underneath the car to catch the fluid. Next, undo the bottom radiator hose. And then pull off the bottom radiator hose. And now comes the fluid. Then remove the chop hose. Now we're going to remove this bottom hose here. We're going to take the hose off. Now to remove the other transmission line. Nice and gentle with these so you don't bend the line. That's why we sprayed it with the penetrating fluid. Loosen her up. She just pops on out. Now to remove the four securing bolts that hold it in place. There we go. One, two, and then on the other side, three, four. We just gotta lift her out. Now as you can see this old, this old girl, we put some putty on here to just get her through to the new radiator. She had a big crack in the top tank here, we put some putty on that to get her through, but you can see, definitely, definitely time to replace the old radiator. Next thing we need to do is we need to get these old fittings off the old radiator and put them on the new radiator. Well, 
One. And yeah. two. This one's a bit burnt over. We might need to get a new one. We can't. Time to crank out the new one. Big shout out Champion Radiators. Beautiful. And attach them to the new one. Make sure we don't cross thread anything. And tighten them down. Yeah. All right, so we're going to put the radiator in, but the mounting holes aren't the same as what's on the car, so we're going to line him up. See how we go. We're going to use a Nico pen to mark this aluminium and drill some new mounting points. Here we go. So this side is this side is pretty well perfect. And this side is not. So we'll just gently put this in here so we get it in the right spot. Alright, so these mounting points over here don't match up to our car, so we've marked some new mounting points. We use a little pin punch. Get a start on the drill. Then we slowly drill a hole. Fill a pilot hole first before we go to the big one. Okay. Well, with the new mountain holes drilled in, now we just got to tighten her up in there. And the holes line up.
three. Number four. And four. Now, to reconnect the transmission line. This doesn't quite line up because the radiator is a little bit thicker, so. Let's see how we go here. Let me get it. Oh. The other option is we cut the transmission line, make it a bit shorter, but it's not something I really want to be doing today. Yeah, mate. Are you still recording? Yes, buddy. I am. Where's your phone then? On the floor. Where? We just need to tighten this transmission line in. It took a bit of manipulating to get it on there. It doesn't quite line up, but... We got it in the end. Now to connect the other transmission line, this one is the one with the hose, right there. we decided to put this on after we put the car, the uh, radiator in the car, because of getting it past the fan was quite difficult to tighten him in. Put the hose back on, transmission hose on this side. And we attach the new radiator hoses. It's not quite in the right spot. It used to sit there, about there on the old radiator. So we're gonna do some manipulating. I think we need to cut the hose. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. That's better. That looks better. Yeah, attach the bottom right out of hose. Now attach the overflow. We pulled this off the old radiator. Get on there. We'll have to clip him somehow. 
can work that out in a minute. So we, there's no clips on this radiator, so we'll have to work out how to clip him. We might even put a bottle here for an overflow. All right, now all that's left to do, put the coolant in. Little pro tip, hold the bottle on its side, that way you don't get the air bubbles. Alright, now we'll start the car and see if it sucks any more through.